I know I'm not the only one who's really tired of game journalists just phoning it in, but I also love seeing them get spanked by their superiors. Polygon tweeted out a link to an article talking about the recent announcements regarding the next season of Apex Legends and what changes are going to be made to the game. Now in this article, which has since been edited, the author wrote about the animated short released to tease Valkyrie, the new character in Apex Legends. However, in their recollection of the video and the lore itself, they got numerous details wrong. Like, just flat out wrong. Character names, backstories, motivations, just wrong information. And all the info they got wrong is explained to you in the Titanfall 2 campaign which is less than four hours long and released almost five years ago. For a professional game journalist, this is unacceptable. Whoever made this has clearly not played Titanfall 2, nor did they even attempt to do research on its lore before writing the article. So it shouldn't be surprising that Respawn themselves responded to the tweet with a little jab implying they should have, you know, played the game before writing about it. But, unfortunately for Respawn, they were responding to a Polygon tweet, and I think we all know the kind of people who actively follow this website. The kind of people who don't care too much about the details and care a lot more about just being right all the time and never having to admit any kind of fault. And you may say, Joe, that's a little harsh. And I would respond, well, not for long. Yeah, that'll show them. Gotta make sure those incel chuds buy your games too. Verified account, because of course it is. I wasn't aware that correcting wrong information made you an incel chud. Whatever a chud is. Like, you're gonna see a lot of people who got legitimately mad at Respawn for this response. So, and before we go any further, let me just reiterate the groundwork for what happened here. Polygon made an article with factually wrong information about a game's lore. The developer of the game responded with a little jab saying they should have played the game before writing the article. And to Polygon's audience, Respawn is in the wrong here. Let's just keep moving along. Respawn out here actually ratioing Polygon and promoting a great game at the same time, hell yeah. It's cool, but you'd think they'd correct the tweet behind the scenes and not go for brownie points. Kinda cringe, TBH. Yes, because Polygon posted an article publicly, but it's apparently the responsibility of Respawn to correct them not publicly. That's some amazing logic. That's like if you got a question wrong on a test, but the teacher just didn't tell you what you did wrong. They just put an X on it. Because if they told you what you did wrong, well, that'd just be kind of cringe. This is really disappointing. Why not reach out to the outlet and let them know they made a mistake? Apex and Respawn are awesome. You don't need to take this kind of tone. I love this. Why not reach out and let them know they made a mistake? Gavin, they did that. And again, why is it even Respawn's responsibility to correct them in a certain way when they're the ones that got it wrong and it's literally their job to not do that. People who follow Polygon are just like allergic to accountability. It's hilarious. I mean, even if the person who wrote that article didn't play TF2, let's not drag them for their ignorance publicly, which is weird because they're the ones that made their ignorance public. Not everyone who has to report on the news has played the game they're reporting on. Let's not be antagonistic. A polite correction would suffice. Do I expect game journalists to play every single game ever? No, I actually don't, and it's unrealistic to expect them to. But if you don't play a game, and you don't have first-hand experience with it, and this goes, this doesn't just go for games journalism, this goes for any kind of journalism, any kind of reporting. If you were not physically involved with the thing you're reporting on, be it you didn't actually play the game you're talking about, you didn't actually see the movie you're referencing, you need to research that shit. And also, newsflash, researching the shit takes less time than actually engaging in the shit. Researching Titanfall lore takes less time than playing Titanfall. It's like, yeah, you could have put four hours into Titanfall 2, or you could have put 20 minutes into research. This ain't it. I'm so confused, what's the problem with this? I actually fucking blocked him. <laughs> Yeah, don't do this. It's really scummy behavior for an otherwise great game. Gross. I love seeing the people responding this way and just trying to picture what they would do if they were in this position. If one of the biggest game journalist outlets in the world, which, little side note, it's depressing that Polygon is still up there, but if one of the biggest game journalist outlets in the world posted an article about something you made where they just got stuff wrong, and that article they made is going to be read by potentially thousands of people who, uh, who don't know about your game. They don't know any better. 
would you not want to correct them? And also people getting on Respawn's case for taking a snarky tone with this. But like, at what point are game journalists supposed to have accountability? I'm honestly surprised it took till 2021 for the developers themselves to start calling this shit out. Come on, this is just a bad look, respawn social media person. Why would you put a journalist on blast for a tiny detail like this ruining their day when you could have just sent an email and asked for a quiet correction? Why would you put a journalist on blast? Why would a journalist put out the wrong information? Which is literally the opposite of their job. And as for the people saying like, oh, you could have sent an email and asked for a quiet correction. How long do you think it would have taken a big outlet like Polygon to get through all those emails, as opposed to just responding to the tweet right away, which everyone would see? When you send an email to a big outlet like this, there's a very good chance they won't even see it. And if they do see it, it's going to be quite some time after the article has gone up, at which point the article is not relevant anymore and all the main traffic has already been driven to it. That's just the way the internet works. So yes, responding to the tweet from the official Respawn account is a much more productive way of going about this, actually. This is not a good look. Calling out false info is never a bad look. Being passive aggressive about it is, though. Look, I'm just gonna say, if you can't handle criticism and you can't handle people being passive aggressive, you probably shouldn't have a career on the internet. You're never going to get away from that. Campaign is good, but the Titans one-shot pilots in multiplayer and you have to shoot the Titans like 20 times to destroy it with the charge weapon. Yeah, that's, that's the point of the game. The Titans one-shot the pilots in multiplayer, but the pilots have like 50,000 times better mobility. So it's not hard to escape a Titan if you're a pilot. And also, if you're a Titan, the pilot is still intimidating because if they get behind you or if they bob and weave around your attacks, they can board you and kill you pretty quickly. Like, did you, did you play like one match of Titanfall? This is a far worse look than the original article being inaccurate. <laughs> Publicly shaming an already thankless and unfairly maligned profession is shitty, as well as normalizing harassment. So good job. I'm not even gonna say anything about this because the response says it perfectly. If they don't want to be corrected, then maybe they should research before writing their article. And then going back to this, a thankless and maligned profession? How do you think it got to that point? Yikes, this is rude. Like this is not it. Why not correct them professionally instead of encouraging horrible behavior and bullying? Why not publish an accurate article instead of encouraging shitty research and misinformation? Respawn catering to immature small brain boys that say game journalism isn't the same as it used to be when I was two years old, SMH. I saw a lot of comments like this, like Respawn was somehow like appealing to edgy kids by calling out an inaccurate article about them. If you don't like it when people dunk on games journalism, maybe games journalism should be better. Why are people angry at Respawn here? They're in the right. They don't like being called out for doing a shitty job. And I'll close with this, which I'm not going to say out loud because it'll get me demonetized probably. And for some reason, putting stuff on screen doesn't get you demonetized, but saying it out loud does. I don't know, dude, YouTube, YouTube makes no sense. But yes, this is it. This is the correct take. Maybe a little vulgar, but this is the correct take. The fact that inaccurate articles and constant research mistakes are just commonplace in games journalism is fucking embarrassing. And I'm not even one of those like anti-game journo types. I'm anti like the game journo stereotype, which is what we're looking at here. But I think games journalism is a really important field. And that's why we need to call this stuff out. If we want gaming to be taken really seriously, we need these things to be as professional as other entertainment fields. We need games journalism to be as accountable, as accurate, and as reliable as movie journalism or sports journalism. But I've said it like 50 times and I'll say it 50 more times. If you don't like it when games journalists get called out, then games journalists need to do a better job. Stop being so scared of accountability. Because if you're scared of accountability, no one will ever get better. Toodles.